country. So that's nearly 10,000 that are coming here illegally in the last 24 hours alone, which, which by the way, is a record from when they got rid of Title, right before they got rid of Title 42, a record. And then you've got this administration that is saying, there's no problem, the border is secure. <laughs> when you've got the, the border czar who hasn't even been down there, she's been to El Paso. But I will tell you, as a former mayor that worked very closely with Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, that, that as a Texas mayor, seeing all of these people come over, at a local city level, we don't have the schools, we don't have the housing, we don't have the infrastructure. The partnership that we had with Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, while I was demonized from mayors from sanctuary cities across the country, while New York Times wrote all sorts of scathing articles, the fact is, is that we became the fifth safest city. People want to live in a city where they feel safe, where their kids can go to school. And what you're talking about happening with fentanyl right now, you've got to partner with the body administration that is acting as a transportation hub for these criminal illegal aliens to be able to come over here and basically target our children with illegal drugs. And you've seen it. The results are over 100,000 Americans who have been killed. And it's going to be our number one issue next year.